You've just bought a new phone. The box is pristine, the seal is unbroken, that satisfying feeling of unboxing a brand new device, knowing it's untouched, fresh out of the factory. You power it on, and everything is clean. But what if that feeling of security is an illusion? What if, before it ever reached your hands, your new phone was already compromised, a digital ticking time bomb waiting to go off? This is the reality of a supply chain attack, and it's a threat that's shifting the cybersecurity landscape from protecting your home network to scrutinizing the very origins of your technology. This isn't a case of a hacker sneaking into your Wi-Fi or fooling you with a phishing email. Instead, it's when a malicious actor infects the device itself, sometimes buried deep in the firmware or operating system, long before it ever reaches you. A supply chain attack works by compromising a single, vulnerable link in the long, complex chain of production and distribution. A modern smartphone is not built in one place. Its components, the processor from one company, the screen from another, the memory from a third are sourced from all over the world. These parts are then shipped to a central location for assembly before the final product is packaged and sent to distributors and retailers. Each of these handoffs, from component manufacturing to shipping and final assembly, is a potential point of entry for a sophisticated attacker. Instead of targeting millions of individual users, the attacker targets a single weak point. This could be a poorly secured factory, an unvetted third-party software provider, or even a rogue employee within the manufacturing process. By injecting malicious code at this early stage, the attackers can infect thousands or even millions of devices in one fell swoop. The malware is embedded so deeply that it's virtually undetectable by a standard user and, in many cases, survives a factory reset. It's a fundamental breach of trust, as the very hardware you assume to be secure is, in fact, the weapon. This isn't a hypothetical threat from a cybersecurity conference. It's a documented reality with a history of major incidents. One of the most compelling and widespread examples is the cybercrime group known as the Lemon Group. For years, they ran a sprawling international operation that pre-infected nearly 9 million Android devices, including smartphones, smart TVs, and even children's watches. Cybersecurity researchers at Trend Micro uncovered this enterprise, revealing that the group was modifying the firmware of low-cost Android devices to install a malicious payload they called Gorilla. Once the malware was on a device, it acted as a master key, allowing the attackers to load additional malicious plugins. The capabilities of the Gorilla malware were staggering. It could intercept and read SMS messages, allowing the attackers to steal one-time passwords for banking and social media accounts. It could also hijack WhatsApp and Facebook sessions, turning the victim's device into a tool for sending spam or stealing data. Even more alarmingly, it could turn the infected phone into a mobile proxy, where the attacker would essentially rent out the victim's internet connection for other cybercriminal activities like click fraud and generating fake ads. The sheer scale and sophistication of this operation demonstrated the immense profitability of supply chain attacks. Another major event in this space was the discovery of the Triada malware in 2017. Security firm Kaspersky reported finding this sophisticated banking trojan pre-installed on dozens of different smartphone models, predominantly from low-cost Chinese manufacturers. What made Triada particularly dangerous was its ability to deeply embed itself into the Android system's core firmware. This allowed it to infiltrate every running application and process on the device. The malware's functions were designed for maximum financial gain, it could intercept and redirect payments from in-app purchases, send premium rate SMS messages without the user's knowledge, and even replace links in web browsers to redirect users to phishing sites. Unlike many forms of malware, Triada was nearly impossible to remove because it was part of the phone's fundamental software. The only reliable way to get rid of it was for the manufacturer to issue a completely new, clean firmware update, a process that many smaller OEMs were ill-equipped to handle. The fact that this malware was found on devices being sold in major online marketplaces like Amazon underscored the global reach of the problem. The most insidious part of a supply chain attack is its ability to subvert our trust in a product. 
we're taught to be cautious of unknown apps, suspicious links, and unverified websites. But what happens when the threat is hiding in the hardware itself? The malware is often designed to be stealthy, lying dormant for weeks or months before activating. This latency makes it difficult to link the infection to the initial purchase, as the user will have already downloaded and used many other apps in the interim. The subtle signs, a battery draining faster than expected, a phone that feels sluggish, or an unusual spike in data usage, are often dismissed as normal, new phone issues, leaving the victim unaware they have a spy in their pocket. The attackers behind these operations are highly motivated and often have access to significant resources. They are not just individual hackers, they are organized criminal enterprises or even state-sponsored actors. Their goal is not just to steal data, but to build a massive network of compromised devices that can be used for a variety of illicit activities, from launching denial-of-service attacks to creating phone-verified accounts for fraudulent purposes. While the threat is daunting, it's not insurmountable. As consumers, we have the power to be the final, most crucial line of defense. First, upon unboxing a new device, your very first step should be to run a thorough scan with a reputable, independent anti-malware application. Do this before you even log into your main accounts. A good security app can sometimes detect even deeply embedded threats by analyzing system behavior and file integrity. Second, be extremely cautious with pre-installed or bloatware applications. If an app seems suspicious, has unusual permissions, or is from a developer you can't verify, consider disabling or uninstalling it immediately. In many supply chain attacks, these seemingly harmless apps are the initial entry point for the malicious payload. Third, stay relentlessly up to date with your device's software. Manufacturers and operating system providers are in a constant race against these attackers. Every software update often contains critical security patches designed to close the vulnerabilities that supply chain attacks exploit. Ignoring an update is like leaving a front door unlocked. Finally, consider where you purchase your devices. While not a guarantee, buying directly from a major, reputable manufacturer or a well-known carrier's official store can significantly reduce your risk. These larger companies generally have more stringent security protocols and supply chain oversight than smaller, budget-oriented brands whose supply chains are often more fragmented and less scrutinized. In the end, the new phone in your hand is more than just a piece of technology. It's a testament to a global supply chain that's now a primary target for sophisticated criminals. So the next time you unbox a brand new phone, remember new doesn't always mean clean. From supply chain attacks to preloaded malware, a phone can be compromised long before it ever touches your hands. The good news is, with awareness and the right precautions, you can protect yourself. And if you want to go even further, that's where we at Telerus come in. Our AI-powered cybersecurity agents are designed to detect and stop these hidden threats before they can do damage. Whether you're an individual or a business, you can reach out to our experts for a personalized consultation or request a demo of our AI agent to see it in action. Just visit telerus.com to get started. What do you think? Would you trust a brand new phone from a less known brand, or would you stick to major players? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this eye-opening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who's unboxing a new phone soon.